Hello viewers and subscribers here again with another video about Max Laughlin telling you all about himself at the age of 12. And for those of us who ask where is Max Laughlin, you can find him in Facebook and chat directly with him. To see more upcoming videos about Max Laughlin, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified. Let's get right into it. Hi, my name is Max Laughlin and this is a short video about me. So, let's get started. I'm 12 years old, I live in Incline Village, Nevada, where I homeschool. This is my first year homeschooling, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm even getting to take a few online college courses for MIT. Let me be the first to say, welcome to my laboratory. This is where I can work on inventions, projects, and experiments. I've been working on some pretty cool stuff lately, and it's going quite well. One of the things that I've been working on is the design for the fusion engine. After NASA said that it might be possible to squeeze together atoms with electromagnets, it opened up a new train of thought for me, and I've uh, kind of gotten far. I've designed an integration system that allows hydrogen atoms to be squeezed together, creating nuclear fusion, um, but I'm running into a couple problems. Will the engine be able to stand that? I don't know. I'm still calculating. Another project that I've been working on is a real rocket engine that will go on the back of a small boat and power me across the lake that I live on. I've got some basic calculations behind me that will help me crunch to see if it's possible. Yes, there are going to be some challenges, but I like taking the risks that are necessary to go places where nobody has gone before. Not just regular risks where you jump in blind, but calculated risks. Calculated risks are the ones that I like taking because you, if anything goes wrong, you know what happens because you've already calculated it. So I've got some basic thrust equations and some basic designs to give me pointers when I'm coming up with the design. I also like making drones. Unfortunately, I don't have some of them with me right now because of crashing problems. In my opinion, when something crashes or goes wrong with aeronautics, you could categorize it into two things, a launch problem or a design problem. It was a launch problem. We'll leave it at that. Um, I also work on some robotics. Right here is a robot that I designed and made. And it's um, quite handy. It can perform simple tasks and um, other things. So, uh, yeah, it's quite a nice little thing to work on. It's helped me overcome some basic obstacles. It's helped me think in a new entire way. For example, what happens if your robot trips and stumbles? Will it just sit there? No. You'll have to use it to get up. I've programmed many more functions into it, but the basic ones that can solve problems are my favorite. Speaking of problems, I love solving problems. They're one of my favorite things to do. Ever since I was a little kid, and when I mean little, I mean really little, I've been interested in science and have always known that I wanted to solve problems. For some reason, and as cheesy as it sounds, from day one, I knew that I was put on this earth for a reason, and that reason was to help the world. So, I have, um, as I said before, done many things, and um, those things don't always include science, too. I'm also an athlete. Um, I, in the winter, sometimes, go on a winter biathlon team. In case you don't know what biathlon is, it's rifle range shooting and Nordic skiing. It's a lot harder than it looks, but it teaches very basic principles about living through life. For example, when it's time that you think you need to stop, you gotta push on a little bit further. And that is when you're truly done. Um, I also read lots of comics. Now, I know that sounds weird, but ever since I was six years old, I've been reading comics. And I know um, that there's many, many different types of comics. But um, I kind of found something in comics that made me think and imagine about things that could go beyond what we know. And because of that, I decided that I might want to start writing. So, since I was six years old, I've been writing comics and um, illust hand illustrating them and writing them. 
putting them in a copy machine, and then giving them out. These stands that I'll give them out aren't, aren't at big bookstores, but usually when I was back in regular school, I would set up a little bench and give out comics to whoever wanted them. Anyway, speaking of books, I love reading. I wasn't just born the way I am. I had to work very hard to get here. And through there, I had to read books. I have many books right now, many of which are on physics, which I love reading. However, I am a thirsty learner, and I've read my books over and over, and I need to start applying what I know to the real life. And that is something that I love doing personally, applying what's in a book to what's real life. It's very different, but it's a very nice comparison to make in the mental world. So, thank you for watching my video on who I am and what I'm doing. I'm looking forward to seeing you at SpaceX, and I believe that SpaceX is a place in which I can get along, fit in, and not just benefit myself with advanced learning, but benefit others with my ideas. If I have the knowledge of a common scientist and the imagination of a 12-year-old, what more can you ask for? And as always, thanks for watching, live long and prosper.